poor quality notwithstanding, China is the world's top trader. That's also true in the Department of Trading Charges. China is on top. First, it was fighting the U.S. over the origin of the virus. Then Donald Trump and Xi Jinping had a phone call and Trump agreed to stop calling it a Chinese virus. But that doesn't mean truce. That's just one battlefront sorted. Here's the latest one, a nuclear test, a clandestine nuclear test. The U.S. State Department has put out a report. The story was reported first by the Wall Street Journal. It says that China may have secretly conducted an underground nuclear test, a claim that could further ruin U.S.-China ties. Why is this claim so controversial? Because China promised it won't conduct nuclear tests. So now if they did, that's yet another violation. You may have heard of the CTBT, the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. It's a multilateral agreement that bans all nuclear tests. Both the United States and China are signatories to this treaty, but they haven't ratified it yet. Meaning, their respective governments in Beijing and Washington, their respective lawmaking bodies, have not passed it yet. Despite that, China says it follows the treaty. America, too, is observing a moratorium on nuclear testing. They say they, they will not do it. Now, the Trump administration claims that China is cheating. Well, the American report offers no proof yet, but it says that a nuclear test was carried out at China's Lopnur test site. This is a dried-up salt lake in Xinjiang in China, Lopnur. Beijing says it conducted no such test. The unwarranted accusation made by the U.S. on hearsay evidence against China is irresponsible and disregards the facts and even hides ulterior motives. Even some arms control experts from the U.S. have expressed doubts. China will never accept and strongly oppose the accusations made by the U.S. government. In contrast, the U.S. has clearly stated in its nuclear posture review in recent years that it will not promote ratification of the treaty. It has even claimed that underground nuclear tests could be resumed if necessary. The international community should be highly vigilant of this dangerous move by the U.S. and urge the U.S. to change its course. China is calling it a dangerous move by the U.S. The fact is that they're both playing a dangerous game. And the fight isn't just about the coronavirus anymore. A few months back, it was trade, then technology, then a virus, now a nuclear test, and the sea. That is the latest theater of conflict. Not new, really, but back in focus. We're talking about the Strait of Taiwan, and by extension, the status of Taiwan. A few weeks back, the U.S. stepped up its support to Taiwan. Trump signed the Taipei Act. That's a law that strengthens and expands America's relationship with Taiwan, a very significant law. It also gives a boost to Taiwan's ties with other countries and international organizations. Needless to say, China did not like it, the Taipei Act. So China began flexing its military muscle. China resumed military drills in the sea. It carried out an exercise in the Miyako Strait. This is close to Taiwan. At a time when the world is fighting a pandemic, what is China trying to achieve with military drills? It is sending two messages through this exercise. One, that the coronavirus crisis is in control at home, so China can very well carry out military drills. And two, China will not stop asserting its claim over Taiwan. The Americans, too, are not ready to blink yet. They responded by sending a jet. A U.S. military reconnaissance jet was spotted near Taiwan's airspace. And it's not a one-off case. This is the 12th time, the 12th time in three weeks that an American plane has been seen in this area. Something is afoot. It could just be posturing right now, but it's worrying nonetheless. Active military presence of America and China near Taiwan is a scary prospect. The escalating disputes raise the threat of a military conflict, and that's something that the world cannot afford right now.